Hi everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're gonna make a beat using Groove Agent and we're gonna go over a few basic skills. So let's get started. First thing is we have to add a Groove Agent track. You can hit the plus sign on your track list, go to instrument, go to your drum, choose Groove Agent, or you can go to the right zone, go to your rack, drum, Groove Agent, and create track. Once Groove Agent loads, it'll have whatever default kit you program with. Here's Uptown's finest. Let's listen. There are three upper tabs that you must familiarize yourself with. The first is the Edit tab. Here you can adjust your sample, adjust the start time of the sample, fade in or fade out, adjust the volume, pan left or pan right. Maybe you want to pan your hi-hats. You can also adjust the pitch, any filters, amplitude, and so on. Now the next button is the mixer button. Now with proper routing, each pad will have their own fader. It'll also have a pan left, a pan right, mute, solo. And another feature is you can add any effects such as reverb or delays on it. We can EQ this kick. Let's say we use a studio EQ. Take off some low end. And we'll take that off. Now the last button is the options button. Here you can monitor all of your CPU and memory usage. Now if you want to change your kit, we open up our menu and you'll see all the different styles and substyles of kits. Cubase will populate any kit that you have in your library. Now once you settle on a kit, all you have to do is double click on whatever kit that is. Here we're going with Sample Trap, and it'll automatically replace the default kit that Groove Agent loaded with. Let's see how that sounds. Now you can also load your own kit with samples that you might have in your library. So you can right click, reset all pads, and let's open up our media folder. So here I have this kit that I downloaded from Slate Digital. We can preview all these different kicks. Once we find one that we like, we can just load it on the pad. We load it on the top because that's how we add a new sound to the pad. And the second level is replacing, and on the third you can do layers. So we'll just do it on top for now. And now we keep doing this until we get all the sounds that we want. For the next one, we'll just do a hi-hat. And we'll put it here. Not bad. So you can also save your kit. And it'll become part of your library. And you can also go back to the previous kit if you don't like what you come up with. So let's go back to that Samba trap. Okay, now we're ready to start making the beat. For this example, we're just gonna do a two bar loop. Set your locators. I like to have it on loop mode. Hit the slash. So now you double click on the track, it'll create an event double click on the event and now you can see your piano roll and we can start putting in notes like a MIDI file you notice that the kick is on C1 we can find it on our piano roll and we can start there 
and then we change our cursor to the pencil tool and draw in the notes. Let's draw in some kicks here. You notice that our snare is on E1. So we'll draw those in there. Yeah, we'll do a little hip hop pattern in double time. Now you want to loop your pattern so you can see what you're doing as you're hearing it. Now we can draw in some hi-hats, for instance. So you're basically programming drums by drawing them in. So another way to do this is to go to your MIDI tab and open up the drum editor. With your drumstick tool, you can paint the notes on or off, and you can do it in rapid succession like this. And we can take some off as we go, and it runs a lot quicker than using the pencil tool. Now this is fine for a quantized kind of sound, but you can also record some finger drumming if you have some pads at home. Let's clear this up and I'll show you how you can record. So here I have some Akai pads that are linked to Groove Agent. Let's record something real quick. So for that one, we were going for a Latin beat. We're not on point, but we can go to piano roll and adjust our notes. Now you could use the quantize function, but we're gonna do these by hand. Now we're gonna take off snap so we can have a more human feel to our beat. Okay, so here's our beat. Let's hear it. So now we can open up our editor, expand the view so we can see better, open up our mixer, and we can adjust some levels. So here's our beat. We added a melody. We added a bass. Let's see what we came up with. If you like this video, subscribe. If you want to see others like it, leave a comment. Thank you.